a bunion is not just a bone that grows on the edge of your foot. It's actually a deviation of the inner metatarsal angle. So it's the splitting of the two bones. It's not even arthritis. So the goal is to just slide this bone back over so it's parallel back with this one. So here's what it can look like. Before you got that bump, then it straightens back out. So there's different types of bunions. There's very severe bunions and smaller bunions. The smaller ones obviously need a little bit less surgical correction. So as you can see, smaller bunion needs a little bit less procedure than a bigger bunion. The difference is you could even start getting plates, start correcting your second toe and your fifth toe. You could imagine that something like this will require a little bit more correction than a smaller bunion, kind of like this. So these ones require a little bit more time to heal, especially if you fix other joints to get even more correction for that big joint right there. And here's another example. The fifth toe, the big toe, and the second toe all need to be corrected here. This starts edging towards a couple month recovery rather than a few days. Some people do recommend cast use for the bigger surgeries. I'm a big fan of getting people moving the whole time in a boot so they don't really miss any time. So here's what we prefer. Smaller surgeries, you get a smaller shoe, you can do everything you need to in that and a bigger shoe for a bigger surgery. So here's what the incision lines looks like. Most of the time you can correct a bunion through this type of incision sign, minimally invasive, it heals extremely well with minimal scar. This is what it looks like, the first dressing change, and then pretty quickly, within a few months, you can barely tell you had an incision line, your bunion is corrected. So this is the process. A first dressing change, it can look something like this. You have resorbable stitches with some stary strips, and then a few months later, almost no evidence. Your dressings look like this. You basically only need to get your dressing changed twice. We do it for you. You don't have to do it. You don't actually look at these incision lines. You're on pain medication for a couple weeks. Unfortunately, if you have a cast, you can't drive, but the good news is with removable boots and depending on your pain level, there's always things you can do if you really need to, to work around your schedule. We can work with you and figure something out. And if you got a shower, you do have to keep it clean, but there's ways to keep it dry. And then as early as 10 days for certain procedures, you can get back into your shoes and start moving again. So in summary, if you're wearing a boot or a shoe, it's going to be between two to six weeks. No driving. Exceptions obviously can be made. We can work around your needs, but roughly two to six weeks if it's your right foot. If it's your left foot, you can get going almost immediately. Pain medication, you might need some for one to two weeks. Some people barely need any at all, maybe just the first day or two. And you're back in shoes pretty quickly. If this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is MichiganFootDoctors.com.